Now, this election season has certainly been dramatic for the Saffron Party. First, Mutalik was taken in and within five hours he was expelled. Now, the BJP has done the same to an expelled JDU leader. Take a look. First, it was Pramod Mutalik. And now, it is Sabir Ali. BJP makes another induction U-turn. It seems like the BJP is landing itself in one mess after another when it comes to inducting new leaders into the party. After the whole Pramod Mutalik, Ayaram, Gayaram saga, BJP today resorted to another drastic reversal on another puffed up induction. Yesterday he was inducted. Today his membership was cancelled. We are talking about Sabir Ali. Yes, a day after the glorified induction of the former JDU leader, the BJP annulled his membership today. Addressing a press conference, BJP's deputy leader in the Rajya Sabha, Ravi Shankar Prasad, said that party president Rajnath Singh has decided to annul Ali's one-day-old membership. Rashtriya Adhyaksh Shri Rajnath Singh Ji ne Shri Sabir Ali ke sadasta ko nirasta karne ka nirne kiya hai. The membership of Shri Sabir Ali stands annulled. The BJP declared Sabir Ali's membership null and void amid dissidents within the party fold for inducting the controversial Politico into its ranks. It all started when one of its vice presidents, Mukhtar Abbas Nakvi, openly associated Ali with the arrested IM chief, Yasin Bhatkal. Nakvi also made his dissatisfaction public yesterday by going all out on Sabir Ali's induction on social media. Terrorist Bhatkal friend joined BJP, soon accepting Dawood. Hours after posting the controversial tweet, Nakvi took it down for reasons unknown. Speculations are doing the rounds that the party was unhappy with Nakvi, taking the issue to social media. Ravi Shankar Prasad said that the party president Rajnath Singh has directed the party cadre to voice their opinions internally. और राष्ट्रीय अध्यक्ष जी ने अपेक्षा की है कि पार्टी के कोई कार्यकर्ता या पदाधिकारी उनको पार्टी के फैसलों के बारे में कुछ भी कहना है उसे पार्टी के अंदर के फोरम पर ही कहा जाए। Nakvi was not the only leader who was discontent with Sabir's induction. The Rashtriya Swayam Sevak Sangh, which is seen as a guiding force behind the Saffron Party, also backed Nakvi's dissent. Taking to microblogging website Twitter, RSS leader Ram Madhav said that Sabir's induction had caused great resentment. Sabir Ali induction has caused great resentment. Party leadership has been apprised of the strong views of the cadre and people against it. It is speculated that the RSS had a major role to play in Sabir's expulsion. Senior BJP leader Balbir Punj also echoed Nakvi's stance on Sabir Ali and sought the reversal of his induction. Because the perception about Mutalik did not gel with the culture, ethos and history of the BJP. Similarly, irrespective of the charges against uh, Mr. Sabir Ali, his persona, his past, is totally inconsistent with the nationalist image of the Bharatiya Janata Party. This decision must be reversed. While Mukhtar Abbas Nakvi had time and again attacked Sabir for having terror links, Sabir had hit out at the BJP leader earlier today. While on one side BJP leaders took turns to hit out at the party's decision, the Congress also trained its guns on the Saffron Party. Congress leaders attacked Modi by saying that he could go to any extent to register a win. Modi ki lehar ab in logon ke tak bhi pahunch gayi hai aur Modi to kisi ka bhi saath lega kyunki Modi ki lehar jab aap kehte ho usko khud malum hai ki koi lehar nahi hai usko sabka samarthan lena padta hai Bhatkal ke saathiyon ka bhi samarthan lena padega aur yahi BJP mein ho raha hai koi niti nahi koi ideology nahi koi soch nahi कोई देश का लेना नहीं केवल मोदी मोदी और मोदी बीजेपी इस नो लॉन्गर इन पिक्चर नाउ इट इस मिस्टर मोदी हु इस ड्राइविंग बीजेपी एंड आरएसएस बोथ मिस्टर नकवी वाज राइट इन सेइंग दैट दे विल गो टू द एक्सटेंड ऑफ हैविंग डाउट इन द पार्टी इफ दैट इंश्योर्स अ विक्ट्री टू देम इन द कमिंग इलेक्शंस सो दैट स्पीक्स वॉल्यूम्स 
for Bharatiya Janata Party when their own leaders stand up, are say, stand up and say that the party can stoop down to any levels. Hours before his expulsion was announced, Sabir said that he himself asked the BJP High Command to put his induction on hold. Reacting to Nakvi's allegations, Sabir said that he has not seen Yasin Bhatkal even in his dreams and further challenged the BJP Vice President to prove his links. Sabir also said that he was willing to give up his political career if Nakvi could justify his claims. BJP's second U-turn within a week. This is a second instance of the BJP cutting a sorry face after it inducted a controversial politico. Earlier this week, the Saffron Party's Karnataka unit inducted contentious right-wing activist and Sri Ramasene chief Pramod Mutalik. But the Sene's chief stint in the BJP lasted just hours as a high command ordered his expulsion after facing severe flak from within and outside the party. With the polls around the corner, the BJP seems to be doing all it can to ensure a win. Unfortunately for them, their decisions are landing the party in one controversy after another. Will all this dent BJP's prospects in the upcoming polls? Will the induction and expulsion drama prove costly for the BJP? A new Snan report. Now, mudslinging and attacking candidates has become extremely common during this election season. However, what Ayanur Manjunath, BJP Rajya Sabha MP, said today, well, that was extremely low. Well, none of his words are tailored. These words were spoken by senior BJP leader Ainur Manjunath in retaliation to Madhu Bangarapa's comments on getting his hair cut. I know Manjunath's sharp comments come in the wake of Madhu Bhangarappa declaring that he would get his hair cut on April 17th after the elections. He went on to say that his words might sound like a dog barking, but went on to clarify that it was the same what Madhu Bhangarappa was busy doing when he was on a party hopping spree. Madhu Bhangarappa thaw BJP le bande nitko nti dree, awaj yari bo bo bande tai dree, JDC ko nti dree, yari bo bo bande tai dree. The senior BJP leader also used the opportunity to declare that Madhu Bhangarappa will get an apt reply by the public for his arrogance. Madhu Bhangarappa no ro, ena hadiyal ro nantra, tamakudil na katmar kodi TV anta heedi dare, anta thaw dil se dree. Mukaikah Further, the BJP leader gave the junior Bangarappa precious lessons on how to behave in public. Sarajanikragi, Lakshant Jarna Prithinisuantono, Tanna Ichemel Baduka Kagala, General Garuva Takangi Badukwe Kagate, Bashakuda Hagirbe Kagate, Madhu Bangarap Norenima, Kudan even Boleskola Kogbedi, Bachinke Kalskurti, Salpatere, Bachkola Kalskoli Sako, or by Emele Hagirbe Kunan to Vartanetami Gotila. Igagle Nine Kumar Bangar of Norata Madidare Idiga Samaj the Astina to Bolsidir and Kandida Busha, Adru Astina Bolsidru Palama Nimku, the Jastia Girbodunta and Anin Hila Kogal. Lastly, I know Manjanath made it clear that he had risen up the political ladder from the grassroots level and did not gain popularity overnight. He accused Madhu Bangarapa of splurging his father's wealth 
and having achieved nothing in the political arena. Indonesia VSL MPM Karmik Jadi Upah Samaan Asa Kuto Nen Ni Yau Tu Mardi Diri Apun Asa Asa Tiada Seno Lagi Raja Kanak Bandi Wisma Ata Ada Zat Diri Nenna Mana Kalu Nenna Mana Kaya Mere Uri Edi Nin Tir Tak Kanta Nano Ni Mantan Nur Jane Ke Utar Sen Tak Cikti Nen Bagawan Tak Kote Dana Sol Pa Ni Mana Lagi Ni Mahal Lodi Diri The War of Words Is Getting Intense While On One Hand Politicos Are Leaving No Stone Unturned To Garner More Attention They Are Also Leaving No Efforts In Insulting Their Opponents Political rallies are hitting a new low with every passing day. A news time report. Well, transgenders have time and again made their presence felt during rallies and pride marches. Now, this time around, a very popular transgender is all set to make her electoral debut. Transgender eyeing to scale new heights. Have you heard of Kalki Subramaniam? She is a transgender from Tamil Nadu. A known face in the transgender community worldwide, her story is an interesting one. But before we tell you everything about her, let us enlighten you upon what she is up to. Born and brought up in Pollachi, Kalki has decided to contest the 16th Lok Sabha elections from her birthplace. I will be contesting in the 16th Lok Sabha elections as an independent candidate in the Pollachi constituency. Yes, she made it official on Twitter and she will be filing her nomination on April 4th and will start campaigning on the same day. She is a high-flying transgender activist and an actor and writer by profession. Her foray into politics will not only give voice to the queer community but also will be a milestone in the history of not only Tamil Nadu politics but the country. Well, if I become an MP, uh, my priorities will be definitely... Uh, the welfare of the constituency, the people, everyone. Uh, definitely I wanted to create more employment. I wanted to encourage agriculture and farming in the constituency. I wanted to encourage more industries related to agriculture, cottage and small scale industries, and I wanted to support them. I wanted to create more employment and the social entrepreneurship initiatives for women. About her campaign plan, she said that Polachi region was known for agriculture and she would be focusing on the farmers' plight in the region as most of the land had been taken over by real estate developers, leaving most of them jobless. According to Kalki, she has achieved a lot in her life through hard work and determination. She says that the stigma of being a transgender still exists but will soon change if people like her change their fate. Transgenders have made their entry into politics over the years, but this time, Kalki's entry will be quite special. She is educated, talented, and has knowledge about the loopholes in the society. More than anything else, she has the courage to stand up and fight for her rights. Though Kalki tries to suppress it, the sympathy could favor her in general elections. Will the people of Pollachi vote for Kalki? Will she be able to emerge victorious in a place which has been ruled by political stalwarts? Will she be able to live up to the expectations in the big bad world of politics? Watch a special report on her at 8.30 and find out. A News 9 report.